1757, during the war between France and England for possession of the New World, Cora Monroe and her sister Alice, daughters of the colonel commanding a British fort, have been captured by Magua, a cruel Indian chief. Magua hopes to earn a great reward from the French by forcing Colonel Monroe to surrender the fort as the price of his daughter's safety. Major Duncan Hayward, captain with the girls, is to carry Magua's message to the fort. Meanwhile, a French spy named Dulac has taken refuge in Magua's camp to avoid being caught by the famous scout Hawkeye, whom he has treacherously attacked and robbed of dispatches that reveal the British military plan. With Hawkeye are two Mohicans, the Sagamore and his son Uncas, sole survivors of their tribe, which was massacred by Magua. They set fire to the camp with flaming arrows in the hope of rescuing the girls. Exposure may well be our salvation. Meet the others downstream. Sagamore and I'll cover your retreat. Follow them. Our blazing wigwams make us fair targets for the long rifle. Does Magua so easily accept defeat at the hands of the pale faces? Magua knows not defeat. When they reach Fort William Henry by tomorrow's sun, Magua will be waiting for them. In the dark, where every shadow may be an ambush, more than likely they'll outrun us and meet us near the fort. Then we must hurry. It would be useless. Not haste, but Indian cunning will save us from being scalped. In the cave above Fallen Creek, three brave men could hold off many of you. 
Well said. You and Orcus lead the others there. I'll head for the fort and deliver my dispatches. And have Colonel Monroe send out a rescue party. Aye, and I'll lead it myself. The fate of Colonel Monroe's daughters is in my red brother's hands. I must have one. We'll carry him, Monroe. At once. Major Duncan Hayward of the 60th Royal American, sir, asking immediate audience with Colonel Monroe. Major Hayward? Fetch him in at once. Major Hayward? Yes, sir. Speak, man, what has happened? Where are my daughters? The words do not come easily, sir. Your daughters... Also, we were ambushed by Hurons, and... and I alone escaped with my life. You dare to come to me with such news? You hadn't the courage to stay and die with them. The colonel does me a grave wrong. My horse was shot from under me in the first volley. I... I fell from a great height. When I recovered and regained the trail, all there remained was the evidence of a sight that I would rather forget. I, I up there, I spoke as a father, not as a soldier. Come in. The scout with important dispatches from General Sandwich. Make an immediate audience with the Colonel. Let him enter. Under the circumstances, sir, would it not be wise to see him uh, later? Thank you, Major. Fetch the dispatches and bid the courier wait. I will relieve you of the dispatches. Did I not tell you that I must see Colonel Monroe on matters of grave import? My orders are to fetch the dispatches. The Colonel will see you later. Him at once. Colonel Monroe will see you and it suits his good pleasure. So? Well, then tell him this. That I bring him news from his daughter and Major Hayward, who are hidden in a cave, awaiting his pleasure to send them aid. Your news is belated, friend. Major Hayward is inside and can speak for himself. What manner of lie is this? Am I to believe that a red-coated soldier can travel faster through the night woods than I? Believe what you will. Major Hayward arrived ahead of you. Stand aside, fools! There's some sort of trees in the front.
I'll order out the troops and capture him. I'll all take you on spy and recover the dispatches. Send your soldiers to the caves above Falling Creek. Fetch Major Hayward and your daughters. What say you of my daughters? They are not killed? Well, they were alive last night. If I know the Mohicans, they're still alive. As a father, I would detain you to thank you. As a soldier, I must warn you that the fate of an empire rests in the pocket of that French spy. Those dispatches must not reach Montcalm. Montcalm air sees those dispatches. You can rest assured I'll be lying dead in some thicket between here and his camp. Two platoon of soldiers to patrol Falling Creek and fetch my daughters back. downstream with half my warriors. The others will go upstream with me. Soon or late, we shall find them again. French courier. Hawkeye is on my trail. I have found the horses. Think they will find us? Uncas has kept the good news for the last. In the distance, a score of English soldiers are approaching. Hawk must have won through to the fort. Long knives are coming. How many? A score. The gods of the Hurons smile this day on Magua. Gather the men who went downstream and lay an ambush for them. That is already done. Good. Take ten of my men as well. Let there be no chance of escape.
Cook's nearly here. 